Yo, welcome back everyone. We're back in Busan. It's outside. Beautiful day. Today we're going to the park. We're going to Busan's Citizen Park or Busan Shimin Gongwan, as you can see behind me there. Woo! Hell yeah. Uh, I'm very excited. We're gonna walk around, take a tour of this park. I've never been here, um, so it should be pretty cool. And from what it looks like, they've got a, they got a lot of stuff going on over here. There's a giant inflatable snow globe for some reason in summertime, but you know. Uh, so let's go check out a map and uh, see what we can find there. All right, here we got our map of the park. Here we are. We got to memorize this location because this is, this is going to be important later where we are currently. But uh, and they got a lot of stuff. This park is pretty massive. They got some kind of water stuff going on over here. That would be that looks really cool. Uh, the map makes it look kind of small, but uh, I think this place is going to be really, really, really massive. So let's uh, let's just dive in, see what's uh, see what's around. All right, let's dive head first into the park. I'm very excited to be out here today. Uh, I want to check out whatever that is. So I checked, took a look at the, the little map that they had um, at the front, but I didn't want to take the map with me because I kind of wanted to just get lost. Maybe that's a good idea. Maybe it's a bad idea. Only time will tell. But for now, we're just gonna walk around and see what kind of fun things we can see. Uh, for example, this big metal structure over here. So uh, yeah, it's really cool because there's a lot of beautiful flowers now, right now. It's still spring, but moving on to on to summer. So kind of really nice. Let me get a, actually a close up on it. Wow, these flowers really are gorgeous, honestly. Holy crap. They kind of remind me of um, watermelon, like a watermelon red. They're all over the place. It's really cool. Uh, oh, wow. Okay. It's a big, uh, well, steel? Metal? I don't know if this is the safest playground for kids, but it looks cool. Wow. This kind of, this kind of playground didn't exist when I was a kid. Oh, this is super cool. I really like the structure. All right, cool. Not as cool as the, um, I guess the forest playground we saw in uh, Soul Forest Park, but still very cool looking. And over here we got our big wide grass area. Wow, there's just so much to see, guys. A little mini playground with koala heads. Oh, <laughs> look at this. Wow, they have like a a little like inflatable jump zone for the kids. That looks so dope. <laughs> That's so cool. It's just like a free thing for the kids. That's really incredible actually. Oh my god. I just got sand around it too, so in case they fall they don't hurt themselves too much. That's really crazy actually. Wow. I can only imagine having something like that, you know as a kid at a park. This park is really well made. Now over here, oh, what do we got over here actually? Is this a, uh... oh, it's just a, oh. Oh, interesting, okay, so it's bathroom and kind of bunshik area, hold on, let's let's walk around, let's, let's kind of, let's get in this. I wanna see, I wanna see what we're working with here. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, food court picnic, oh, that's awesome, dude. Oh. That's so cool, and you get this view too? <laughs> wow, okay. So there might actually not be a reason to deliver when you can just get the food court picnic, but I mean, I'm still gonna deliver just because that was kind of the reason I wanted to come out here, but wow. And then I think you can go on the roof too to get a nice view. Let's go up there. Let's go up there and get a nice view, but look at this. Wow, I'm already in love with this park and I've only been here for five minutes. <laughs> All right, we're at the top now. Whew, kind of get a nice aerial view. This, even this top part area, it's really nice for the summer. You got a shade, got some nice tables to eat outside. Wow. There you go. Wow, this, I think I like this park just slightly better than Soul Forest. 
But that's only because Soul Force has like these really tall trees that I guess uh, detract from the view. I mean, the great trees are very nice. I don't know, there's just kind of something nice about seeing this wide open park like this with the, uh, the apartment buildings in the background and all of that. Super cool. Got this sweet little pagoda going on over here. Nice, nice. I also saw the signage. It seems like there's a Pororo library, so we'll have to check that out. But uh, Oh, that's so nice. They actually let you go in this one. I know due to COVID restrictions, we weren't allowed to go on the one on Achasan. This like kind of pagoda or whatever, but I guess this one is fine. It looks pretty big, so I think that's why it's okay. That's a nice little chill lax zone. Also, I noticed that the last time that I was doing recording, you guys could like hear my heavy breathing. Uh, it makes me sound like I'm a really fat man who doesn't exercise. <laughs> I'm just doing a normal walk, but my breathing is so heavy. I feel like I can, yeah, I can walk on the grass, okay. I have to watch what other people are doing first to make sure I don't do something wrong. But the fountains are, look super, super cool. Oh, look, it actually, now I see it, look, there's like sand on the other side to kind of make it feel like a beach. That's kind of interesting. I mean, you can go to the beach pretty easily, but... Yeah, let's go over there. Taking a walk on this cool bridge. I don't know what it is. I really like uh, man man-made bridges or like just like walking bridges i don't know why i said man-made bridges like walking bridges you know as opposed to the ones that you drive over with a car it's very fun to just kind of feel like you're walking on water but not walking on water oh guys there's some turtles yeah can you guys see the turtles oh there you go, there you go. let me zoom in look at them look at them go yeah! Oh, I think I see some big fishies over there too. Alright, let's go see the fish. Oh, someone drop a balloon in here? Ow. Oh. Yeah, there's, a, there's some big, big fish over there. Oh my god. Hold on. Yeah, they're just straight chilling. Are these... Actually, koi? Are there actually koi in here? Whoa. Hold on, let's go to like where all of them are gathered up. I think you guys can see it, but I'll zoom in if you guys can't. Wow. Right, let's keep walking. Well, I didn't expect to see koi over here. Man, I get excited over like the simplest stuff. There's a water wheel over there, guys. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, so they kind of built like a a little miniature dam, I guess. A little mini waterfall. Wow. Yeah, this place is really cool. <laughs> yeah. Well, I guess if you want to like spend a day at the beach but not be at the beach <laughs> i guess you could come here hell yeah yo guys i'm back where i was originally with the fish but where did all these fish come from oh my god where were all these fish hiding oh i don't know if someone dropped some food or something but holy crap they are swarming for that food Oh, wow. I'm glad I walked back over here. It's really cool to see the fish avoid the big koi. <laughs> They're like moving out of the way. Wow. That's really cool. Uh, still on the, the bridge, by the way. So I did, you can feed the fish. I saw a kid, he had like a little cup full of something or other to throw in there for the fish. So. That explains why there were so many fish at the time. So uh, I don't know where he got it from, but I'm sure you could get it somewhere nearby and feed the fish and see the swarm of fish like I did, which was really, really cool. 
Okay guys, we got a miniature garden maze. You can get a top view of it. I will go through it. I do want to attempt it. I just wanted to see first if it actually is a maze. So we have the entrance over here. And the exit, I think is over there. Kind of just go in and out like that. So let's do our best to attempt this maze. They do give you like a little solution at the beginning, which I don't like. I kind of want to just find the solution. But let's, uh, let's get lost. Alright guys, we are now entering the maze. I don't know if it actually has a linear path or not. Okay, no, you can actually go around. You can go this way. I think there's a specific path though. I think the specific path, yeah. So the specific path has like this mat. And it's not as fun as I thought it would be. <laughs> but it is better than nothing. It is a nice little maze to get lost in. Oh, they do have some areas without it. Ooh, be careful. Be careful, guys. But I think it's a pretty clear path. <laughs> I don't think it's uh... I don't think you'll really get lost. Well, that's cool. There's a little like... I kind of... Oh, it kind of feels like a... Like a dungeon quest, right? You go through a maze and then you find this cube and then maybe you fight some boss. I don't know. I'm too much of a nerd, I guess. I guess you're supposed to go through this path, I think? Unless there's another way to go through here. It feels like there is. I might have actually ended up taking the wrong path, but... I feel like I was just here. Ah, I now see the reason why there's this. So the kids kind of go run through it and then I guess the parents can kind of guide them. This would be a really cool challenge to like, oh, that would be really cool to like, have someone blindfolded go through the maze and then the person on top has to guide them. That would be really cool. Oh, dead end. That would be a really, really fun challenge. Maybe we'll come back here and try something like that. Oh, third one. Like, especially seeing with the Korean writing, I really feel like some mystical things gonna come up. If I was good at editing, I would like have some like light up here as I touch the words and But I'm not good at that, so. You guys can pretend that magic is there. All right, let's, uh, let's get out of the maze. Which, uh, probably this way. I did it, guys. I wonder what the speed run is for the maze. Easy peasy. That was fun. That was a really cool maze. Let's keep going. All right, we're at what I can only assume is the Pororo Library, which looks really cool, actually. I'm not gonna lie. This is a really cool setup. They've taken like these bunkers I guess, and then deck them out to be uh, Pororo. And I assume there's only like, maybe comic books or easy books for kids to read. There could be other books as well. But it's very, very cool looking. And then they have Cafe, GS. What a good idea. What a good concept to like, take a bunker and kind of match it with the area as opposed to just having a bunker here. Oh, super cool. And it's just a normal GS inside. That's really neat. Before stopping on our way to, to order, I found out that this is like the Cultural Art Village Center. So it's really cool that they, they made them look like little houses. They even got like a, a brick chimney over there. But this, is, this whole area is like the, the art village, I guess. And it's really, really neat, actually. Um, oh, wow, this is so cool, just like, all the little stuff rolling around. I think you can enter some of these buildings as well. But I can't help but feel like it would be really nice to live in one of these houses because houses are rare to come by in Korea. Uh, they have this nice little chillax zone too. Oh. Yo, this place is so full of really just neat things. I like this guard tower. Okay. I don't know why they made it look like a military camp, but okay. 
Now what a, what a really cool, cool park. There's really nothing else I can really put it as other than that this is just a really super cool place. So you guys can see we have the Baymin app. There are many different um, there are many different applications to order food with, but Baymin is just the one that I prefer to use. So today we're going to get some chicken. Heck yeah. More importantly, uh, let me take out the glare for you guys. I realized I clicked pizza, not chicken. Anyways, we want BHC chicken. That's what we want. This is, this is the good stuff here. Um, it's a little hard to... Oh. It's a little hard to kind of like get through it. I had to change the the chicken because the other the other branch was um not open yet so anyways for me i want to get the brinkle chicken maybe with cheese balls yeah brinkle plus cheese ball yes brinkle is the most popular actually you know what because i want to make it easier to eat on myself i want to get sunsar so let's look for sunsar brinkle these are all bone in uh, Brinkler wing, Brinkler stick. Oh wow, the Brinkler Sunsar is on sale. Yo, that's awesome. On sale, yes. Okay, so once you pick your thing, then you have a bunch of different options here to add different stuff. Um, I don't want more sauce. Um, no, 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 no. And you can also add some other side dishes. You can get the Brinker cheese ball, hot dog. They have a lot of Brinkle things. It's like their most popular thing. Sorry that my thumb kind of blocks things, but it's kind of hard to like. Uh, I do want some cola, but I don't know if I want a 1.25 liter of it, but I guess, I guess that's what we're getting. I do want some Coke, so we're gonna do that. And then uh, I didn't see regular cheese ball. Hold on, let me go back up. Yeah, I didn't see regular cheese ball, so we're just gonna get those. And then you just hit, up, okay, and then it's in your little cart there. So let's look for cheese balls. You can also go on the top here and like kind of scroll through here if you wanna like go faster. But we're just gonna scroll down so you guys can kind of see the options. Choo. They have so many chicken options. Oh, well, they actually have a bucket too, or cup. All right, uh, let's not get distracted. Uh, no, I just want ring cheese ball. I just want normal, normal cheese balls. Oh, we could get fries. We could get fries. Oh, fries sound so good. All right, over here we have the, uh, the normal ones. This is what I wanted. Maybe they had that there, but I just wanted this. The normal, the normal cheese ball. Pop. Okay, and we're all good. I want to get some fries, but that'll be a bit too much. So we're just going to go with this set that we have here. And then now that we're done, we go to our little bip, gift thing. This will pop up your order. Yes, yes, yes. That's what we want. Next, have about price. All right, so you go through this menu. There's not much to make sure here. You just gotta make sure that your, um, uh, the address is correct up here, focus. Um, and then you can have them call you over here, over there, down this, all this. There's like options for coupons and stuff. And then they tell you the price here, bam. And then you just go down here, check this, and then you pay. For this specific situation, it's better that you have the, your phone number on there. I'm not gonna reveal my phone number, but it's better to have your phone number so that way, uh, especially because we're in a park, they might be a little hard to find you. So uh, we're gonna make sure that uh, they can find us. Now, if you have uh, Cacao Pay, now if you have Cacao Pay, then you can just go ahead and boop, do that, and then put in your password and stuff, which I will again, not show. And right now, as you can see, they're just looking for someone to pick up the food. Usually it's pretty quick. Uh, so whenever this is done, it'll show us uh, when someone is, is ready to get our food. All right, they found someone and then uh, 30 minutes, about 30 minutes, they'll be over here. Well, right now it shows them making, but this is, I think this is the total time. 
So they should arrive maybe about 12.50 and we should have some delicious lunch by then. All right, I'll see you guys then. We are back on our walk before we get our food. I just noticed a very scary man in there. A little scary man. But yeah, just walking before we get our food. I think the last part of the video is gonna be uh, when we get our food. I think that's gonna be a nice wrap up. Also, uh, on a side note, I saw that some of those uh, buildings are workshops. So you can go in and do like a ceramic workshop. Uh, woodworking, I think they have, they, they have like two or three different workshops um, and they're open at certain times. So maybe we'll come back and do a workshop. That'd be cool. Ah, these flowers are really gorgeous. Yeah, spring is really the best time to be here. B. You can walk through here. Ooh, mystical. I assume this is supposed to maybe have more vines, but ooh. I assume it's also supposed to have water. Maybe. Maybe they're just not running the water right now. This would look very cool with some water running through it. That's okay, it's still really cool regardless. <laughs> oh, and there's another little um, pond too. Some little ducks. Wow, what a nice pond. Ooh. So peaceful out here today. I mean, there's not a lot of people but there's just enough people to not find a spot to relax, if that makes any sense. We've got this really cool man-made waterfall coming up soon. Oh, uh, I wonder if they'd let you swim in here. I, they probably don't, but oh, it'd be really so cool to be able to swim in here. There we go. With the beautiful watermelon flowers, the really cool waterfall. Yeah. Wow. It's a really cool structure too. Like instead of just having, you know, the ponds, having this really cool like waterfall here. I don't know, it makes it uh, much more fun. Uh, this is called the Hundred Beat Waterfall. Ooh, oh, they have a laser light show at night. Oh, we gotta come back here for that. All right, well, we got to come to this park at night. Apparently, there's a lot more stuff to see and do. Oh, man, but it's still so cool during the day. All right, let's, let's go walk on that bridge. There goes my hero. We got the VHC. Yeah, and just like that, I told them to come meet me at Bulk Moon, which we started off today with the North Gate. It sucks because the address I put in, like, put me somewhere else even though I selected here. So he did call me to make sure to come to the North Gate. And I was like, yeah, 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 North Gate. So I'm very excited, yeah. And that's how you get BHC chicken or any kind of food delivered to a park. It's awesome. Let's find a place to sit. All right, guys, I found a nice little place to chill and eat our food. But let me show you the goodies. All right, guys, let's get a nice big taste of that. Yeah, brinkled chicken. Mmm. Mmm. That's why I wanted sunsar. Sunsar is the perfect for your picnic because it's very easy to eat. Now, of course, wing in or normal uh, chicken does taste better. But this is easier for our uh, picnic. Mmm. So good. Now, wrinkled chicken, to kind of understand it, is chicken that's kind of been peppered, like dusted with like a, like a cheese garlic sauce. 
it's really hard to explain it's not cheese sauce it's like if you took a cheese packet like a mac and cheese cheese packet like cheese dust and spread it over with like this salt herby garlicky mixture i'm probably not describing it the best but it's it's really good brinkle chicken is by far one of the top tiers of chicken that's why bhd is so famous because of this one thing now let's try the cheese balls looks like a donut I don't know if you guys can see it. Filled with cheese. Mm. Cheese balls are a dessert. They're a dessert. They're very sweet, lightly fried. Like it's crunchy, but just oh so soft at the same time. It's the perfect texture of fried inside the gooey, delicious cheese. I think they use cream cheese usually or mozz cheese, mozzarella cheese, and they combine it with like some sugar or something. They, they put something in there that makes it really sweet. Or not, sorry, not super sweet, but just sweet enough. And you can just keep eating it and eating it and eating it. Uh, so I'm gonna enjoy this very delicious lunch. Normally you wouldn't be able to eat chicken outside of a chicken restaurant. But you can when you go to a park and just order some chicken i highly recommend it it's a really good time especially if you go with friends get some beer chimek that kind of stuff super good super super awesome time so uh, i'll see you guys in a little bit we're just walking back to book moon or the north gate now kind of wrapping up our tour i did see something really interesting though there's a dad who had uh actually there's a little kid in one of those like uh small electric cars you know that a kid, the kids can fit in i thought the kids drove that um but no the the dad actually has a remote control to control the car and to drive the kid around and i was like that's sick that's really fun for both the dad and the kid i mean the dad gets to control this you know toy car drive his son around or slash daughter around and the kid has a blast driving around pretty cool anyways as I said, we're just walking back to the gate. Hope you guys enjoyed the, the walking tour of this park. I know I had a blast here. And the only thing I can think about now is how much I want that ice person in Mingsu from the last video. In case you didn't see it, go back and go check out that last video in Hongdae with the ice person in Mingsu. It was really cool. Anyways, uh, yeah, I had a really good time walking around. And hope you guys had a good time just, you know, hanging out, watching the video. I'll see you guys in just a little bit. We're from the beautiful snow globe back to where the book moon gate is very close. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for the comments, all of that good jazz. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Can't appreciate it enough. So uh, if you guys like the video, give that thumb up it would be great. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. They wanted to, be, they wanted to get in front of the, the snow globe. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll uh, see you guys next time for another amazing Busan video. Stay safe guys. Bye. We want you to subscribe to this channel and possibly like the video, please.